This time I will show you how to tie the perfection loop and when to use it. As always, the steps are very simple. I will grab my main line or my hook link, which should be made of fluorocarbon or monofilament line, as this knot doesn't work as well with braided lines. Then I will grab my element which I want to tie into the loop. Then I will grab about 15 centimeters of my line and then will tie a simple surgeon's knot on it. At this point I don't want to pull it tight as yet. Then I will slide my element, in this case a little lure, onto the line. I want to slide my lure quite close to the knot and then I will thread my line through that knot once more. Then I will grab this knot. After that, I will make a couple turns with the tag end around the main line. Four turns most of the time are enough. And now the important bit. I want my tag end to go through the knot which is not pulled tight yet. Just like that. When tying your own knot, don't forget to wet this knot just before pulling it tight. Now I pull it tight. Lastly, I will trim off the tag end leaving about couple millimeters. That's it, this loop is now completed. As you can see, the lure can move freely and we don't use any extra elements, any metal elements as well. So the presentation will be much better. Also, I have to mention that this loop has quite an important feature. As you can see, it's more or less rounded. So it means that the element which will be attached in the loop will have a maximum of movement that's perfect. As you can see, a wide variety of elements can be attached to the monofilament or fluorocarbon line using this loop and this knot. As I already shown, these can be fake lures, weights or jig heads, hooks, also swivels, clips, rings and other metal elements. You want to use this loop and this knot when you want your element to have a maximum movement. That's the key really. That's it for today. I hope this short video will be useful for you guys. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.